Hello viewers, this is Just Fag Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and have the news in details. And SARS, it's no longer peaceful. We will not fold our hands. Federal government issues strong warning to protesters. The federal government has said that the ongoing nationwide protest is no longer peaceful. Warning that it will not fold its hands and allow the country to be thrown into anarchy. This is following the violence that has trailed the harsh and SARS protest in some parts of the country, specifically the attack on Governor Boye Gawietola of Oshun State on Saturday. Lai Mohammed, the Minister of Information and Culture, gave the warning on Saturday when he featured on a late night Nigerian Television Authority NTA news program, Weekend Files. He said the assassination attempt on Oyetola was a clear confirmation that the protests had been hijacked by hoodlums and people with ulterior agenda. According to Mohammed, the original convenience of the harsh and SARS protest might have meant well, but are no longer in control of the movement. Peaceful protest is an integral part of democracy, and that is why the federal government in the last 11 days has treated the protesters in a very civilized manner, Mohammed said. But if you look at what happened to the governor of Oshun State, it has gone completely beyond peaceful protest against excesses and abuse of power by the police. There is nowhere in the world where a government will fold its arms and allow the country to, des to descend into anarchy. We are no longer dealing with ash and sars but a volatile situations that can lead to anarchy if government does not take some very firm steps to protect the lives and livelihood of innocent nigerians he said mohammed said in a protest where protesters are now blocking the roads and highway cannot be said to be peaceful because workers are finding it difficult to get to their offices and back home while many nigerians are stranded on the road we have nothing against peaceful protest, but there are a civilized way of doing so, he said. This is by going on a venue where you are not going to disturb other Nigerians because where your own right stops, other persons' right begins, he said. Well, so viewers, what do you think about this? So the federal government can still have the guts to talk like this. The federal government can still have the right, they can still have the audacity to say it's no longer peaceful, that they cannot fold their hands. What will they do? If they cannot fold their hands, what will they do? We are saying that they should do the wish of Nigerian youth. And Nigerians are ready for them. At every corner, Nigerians are ready for them. You know, what, 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 if, if Nigerians hear such statements, how will many people feel about it? Indirectly, they are trying to tell us that they will not do what we Nigerians want them to do. That is just the, that's just the reality about it. Or they want to fight back. They are trying to fight back. And that is exactly what is going on. You know, I, I watched one news and they were saying that, uh, um, uh, one of the one of the governors actually uh, fired one of the youth, Nigerian youth, that was among the protests, and that that issue actually led the youth, all the youth in that state, to start throwing stones on that governor. Fine, this is a peaceful protest, but by the time you are adding more to injury as a government, trust me, Nigerian youth will not take it easy with them. I'm telling you the truth. But the fact is that this is not even peaceful anymore because the, the government does not want to yield to the cry of many Nigerians. So it is not peaceful anymore. And in order not to go beyond this, they should do the right thing. They should try and meet the needs of we Nigerians. People are suffering in Nigeria. And I don't blame them because many of their families, many of their relatives, they are not among the protesters. They are not among, among the protesters. And that is the reason why they, they decided not to answer the cry of many Nigerians. May God help us. Nigeria is going to the hedge of division. 
with the look of things, Nigeria is going to the edge of division. Because what do we expect? If the government cannot even do anything about the whole situation on ground, definitely, the protest will be worse than this. The protest will be more than this. And to the best advice, they rather do the wishes of many Nigerians and let peace reign in the country. The way things are going on right now, they will not be able to curb it at the end of the day. The way the whole situation is right now, it's better for them to do the right thing. I am telling you the truth. It's better for this government to do the right thing. Many, pe many people in the country, they want peace. They want peace. We Nigerians, we want peace in our country. But it's just so unfortunate that our leaders are not giving us the peace that we want in the country. It is so unfortunate to hear that. They are not giving us the peace that we want. And that is why the, oh, the whole situation is on ground right now. May God help us. President Buhari is just there, figure-headed. Seeing all the things that is going on in the country. Seeing all the killings. And you can imagine, ever since this protest has started, as the leader of the, of the country, you have not deemed it fit to address your people. I will say we have a leader. That is not a good leader. That's not a good leader. And if care is not taken, if this issue is not addressed properly, the way it's supposed to be addressed, this protest is going to, to the hedge at, by which Nigeria would divide. And that's just the reality about it. So viewers, what do you think? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments. Have a comment section below for those who subscribe. We want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you're here to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to always watch our latest news anytime, any day. We appreciate you for always being there for us at all time. We say God bless you to you. Thank you for watching for watching our news. God bless you once again. And always stay safe at this crucial time. It is very important to you and me. Thank you. Bye.